Hello everyone and welcome back. How are you? So today we will see my game against the former world champion Grandmaster Vladimir Kramnik who was the world champion for seven years in a row. You know what it means? It's just unbelievable achievement. He was the world champion during the years 2000 until 2007 and his peak rating was 2817. It's just, you know, I can't imagine that I played against this brilliant guy, brilliant player and you know, let's see the game. So I played against him twice? This is a secret. Another video will follow tomorrow or maybe two days from now. So stay tuned. So in this game I played with the black pieces and let's see it. So e4, c5, knight f3, e6. I don't know why I played this, but okay, Paulsen and uh, let's see what, uh, what he has for it. So we played the move c3. You know, just to, to say this game was played one year ago in 2023 and in May. So yeah, one year ago and two months. So let's see, c3 is going for the lap in one. Knight f6, e5, knight d5, d4. I take it, take and d6. And now we play the move bishop to c4. Another move is to play the move knight c3, knight takes c3, b takes c3, and around knight d7, queen c7, bishop e7, b6. Bishop b7. This is my options here for black. But he played the move bishop c4. Also, of course, very common move. I played the move bishop to e7. Castle and castle. And now queen e2. White wants to play the move rook d1. Um, probably bishop d2, knight c3, bishop d3, queen e4, queen g4. And, you know, try to attack uh, in this, uh, you know, king side, of course. So I played the move b6. Also, I think that I really um, knew this one because I want to bring the bishop to b7 and this diagonal is very important for me and also to cover this very strong knight on d5. He played the move knight to c3. I took it, b takes c3 and now bishop b7 seems quite fine uh, for me at least certainly until now so bishop d3 he, he played i thought during the game that he will play the move rook d1 with some bishop f4 maybe and you know because this rook is a little bit annoying for me i thought to play queen c7 bishop f4 maybe i can play knight c6 or maybe knight d7 or maybe also rook c8 something around this but also in this position maybe take 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 oh no yeah it's, it's just losing Right, so rook c8 is not is not a move, of course, uh, but yeah, I think around knight d7 is fine. But he played the move bishop to d3 now in this position, and I played the move knight d7, developing another uh, piece, of course. Also wants to play rook c8 um, with threatening this c3 pawn. He took the c uh, d6 pawn, bishop takes d6, and now, of course, uh, any thought about, I don't know, bishop takes h7, of course, not working about, you know, that's it. Just knight f6. Don't forget that my knight is coming uh, to defend the king. So nothing to worry about. Also knight g5, I think, just knight f6 and covering everything. And of course, uh, on e6 is just not available uh, for taking because after h6, of course, knight e6, I think, maybe can play, right? Because this one and the bishop is uh, just lost. So uh, he played the move bishop b2. And also this one, I'm not sure about this because this bishop looks not so good because he wants to play c4, but w what can he do after it, right? d5, I'm not sure about it. Maybe e5 will play. So yeah, bishop b2 makes, makes feelings like, yeah, everything is fine for black. I think, you know, until now, uh, it seems like I'm doing fine and maybe also uh, equal po equal position from the opening um, against the, one of the best players in the world. So queen e7, I think very logical move also to connect between the rooks, maybe to play rook a c8 and bishop a3. I, I know that, uh, you know, one minute ago I said that the bishop is weak, but this pawn will be weak maybe. So yeah, bishop this a a3 makes a little bit sense but of course i'm not sure that i will play it uh, so he played the move rook f1 also developing another rook into the game i'm playing the move h6 it seems that i'm just playing a, 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 you know like um just fast move to see what uh, black wants to do 
and of course don't forget that in the in the next future i will have the opportunity to survive with my king to h7 it's a window for the king uh, it's quite a move that helps you you know in the future so we play the move a4 and now i thought that a5 it's a little bit annoying me i think a5 immediately should be fine for me because at least to understand that c4 will come with from the white uh, you know uh, point of view and we will put our bishop to b4 so a5 looks good but unfortunately yeah b5 square will be weak for me but i think a5 was much better than what i played in the game i played the move a6 and now you know rooks from a8 cannot uh, come to the game because this weak pawn on a6 so i'm not sure about a6 move i think just h3 maybe rook ad1 and um, something around it maybe to to bring the knight into the game knight e4 d you know c4 e4 so yeah uh, it looks nice for for white but he played the move rook ab1 also makes a lot of sense he, he realized that the bishop on b7 is a little bit weak and maybe after bishop a1 i don't know uh, a5 c4 i have some troubles here so I play the move rook fc8, I'm bringing another rook, as I understand that my rook on a8 cannot go anywhere. c4 is playing, and now I'm going, uh, you know, uh, every move that your opponent is playing, you must ask yourself, what is the advantages for this move, of this move, of course, and also what is the disadvantages. So the, the advantages for this move is that he is uh, opening the diagonal for the bishop, but unfortunately for him, uh, he really weaknesses this square, b4 square, for my bishop. So I'm playing the move bishop to b4, and I'm attacking this rook on e1. So I'm playing the move rook e d1, and now I'm playing a5. As you remember, now it's really, really beautiful for me because this bishop is really strong here. This pawn is covering him. And also, I'm, you know, like fixing the, the weakness on a4. So he's playing the move d5. And I'm just taking it. Queen takes e7, bishop e7, and now c takes d5. And now, you know what? Let's, for one second, look about the clock. I have 2 minutes and 20 seconds on this position while Kramnik has 1 minute and 16 seconds and this game was played by 3 minutes per each of, of one of us and 2 seconds increment per move so it's not you know it's a blitz of course but 2 seconds per move it's it's like you know it's it's very good for for you know like for blitz and also you don't lose on time in such uh, in such terms so i'm playing the move rook d8 rook c d8 and i think his point was after bishop takes d5 just bishop f5 and double attack here so it looks bad for me i think knight f6 i should play takes takes i don't know bishop f6 now bishop f3 okay it looks just losing right yeah it's just bad so rook d8 makes sense also uh, covering this knight from d7 and also in in the next future i want to take this Pawn on d5, I play something around knight c5, knight f6, and this pawn will be weak. So he's playing the move bishop c4, makes sense, just, uh, you know, like, um, defend this pawn on d5. Rook a c8, coming with another rook, don't forget, we must play with all our pieces. So bishop a2, knight c5, also I'm threatening on a4, and also uh, opening the d file from for, for the rook. Bishop a3 and bishop a8 my point was that after rook takes b6 because bishop a3 we must understand what is the threat and we realize that the b6 pawn is under attack and after rook b6 for example i'm playing the move g5 i don't know rook takes b6 knight takes a4 rook b7 take and i don't know maybe d6 something around this this pawn on f7 is is weak so i really thought about prophylactic move and i'm playing the move bishop to a8 my point was that after rook takes b6 just knight takes a4 bishop e7 takes 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 and this position is looks you know i have i have no and uh, no uh, problems in this position i think also king f8 knight c8 knight b6 looks fine uh, at least at least draw for black but maybe also i can play a little bit for a win so you play the move knight d4 after bishop a8 i'm playing the move bishop f6 i'm coming with the bishop uh, you know like in a in a good diagonal right now and uh, he's doing a better job than he does um on e7 knight f5 and, I, and now just rook d7 
I'm not sure about this one. I think also knight a4 makes sense. I really think that maybe I, I was uh, scary about bishop e7, but I'm not sure about knight c3, right? Because there's also so much fork here, so I, I don't know. It looks nice. Also, knight e7 is not is not uh, uh, bad at all. Rook d7, knight c3. The next move, yeah, d6, knight c3. And unfortunately for him, he cannot play this one or this one because um, just knight e2 and take the rook. So yeah, I, I think after knight f7, just knight takes a4 was winning. Looks very, very bad for, for why knight c3 the next move. So, but I played the move rook d7. Uh, I think that I respect a little bit uh, much the my opponent, Vladimir Kramnik, in this position. But rook d7, it's a little bit scary move, unfortunately. He took the b6 pawn, I took the a4 pawn. Rook f6, g takes f6, and now rook to e1. I think just knight e7, rook takes, bishop takes, knight c3, and now, yeah, rook c1 cannot be played because knight e2, and rook a1 also, I just can take, rook takes, and rook c1 checkmate, but d6. This is something that I think that um, uh, Kramnik just blundered, and I, I also, I, I must admit, knight takes d1, d7, just rook b8, Queen, rook takes, bishop takes, I don't know, king g7, maybe knight c3. Oh, yeah, but bishop a5. So knight c3 first, uh, bishop c4. Um, yeah, not so not so easy to, to play. I think this position looks looks fine. Maybe knight d5, maybe bishop d5. Should be draw, but okay, white will press a little bit, at least. So in this position, he played the move rook to e1. And this was a very, very big blunder. I played the move knight c3, bishop b3, just bishop takes d5, and I'm up in exchange and one pawn. Bishop c2, we played bishop e6, um, and, and yeah, that's it. I think just knight h6 check, the best move for him. Uh, I don't know, king h8 or king g7. He will come back, maybe g3, knight f5 maybe, but this position looks, looks just bad. Rook c2, right? Rook d1 checkmate. Maybe g3 in this position. To have a window for the king, you remember our window with h6? So this is important. Um, so yeah, it's, it looks very, very bad. But he played the move knight e7 with 4 seconds on the clock. I just took the knight, bishop takes, and knight d5. We double attack the bishop on c2 and bishop e7. And in this position, bishop b3, knight takes e7. Vladimir Kronik, the former world champion, resigned against me with white pieces. Whew! What a game! I won former world champion in Blitz, of course, not a rapid game, not a real game over the board, but I did it! So ladies and gentlemen, I really like um, if you comment your idea and your thought about this game. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and you know what? This video looks good. Bye bye!